I come across uh, a lot of traders each day that ask me, hey, how did you start trading or what did you what did you learn first when you started trading or what should I learn first when you know when I'm getting into trading so a lot of times I ask them about their knowledge about candles or candlesticks and um, some of them don't even understand what they're looking at they don't understand what a candlestick is or how um how it affects a chart or direction of a trend so I was trying to figure out how to put that together either in a webinar or a video and I decided to do this um, this short video on candlesticks and hopefully I can try to explain some of um, what they do or what I look for in certain candlesticks or candlestick patterns maybe can help you and um, and let's let's see what we can get from here so the title is candlestick patterns and this is session one because I definitely will be doing a few more videos about candles and about other forms of trading that I started with when I started trading what is a candlestick candlesticks were first developed by Japanese rice traders and this was in the 17th century. A candlestick can display the high, the low, the opening, and closing prices for that time frame. Now that time frame can be a day, a month, a week, a five minute, one minute chart. It, it, the one candlestick can display a lot of information just in, in one, one candle. A candle is composed of a wick and the real body. Candles vary in sizes and patterns, producing top wicks, bottom wicks, and bodies of different sizes. I drew a small picture here to break down the candlestick and um, hopefully you can understand some of what I'm getting to. This is a wick of a candle. This is another wick of a candle. So this is obviously the top wick which shows the highest brightest price of the day and this is obviously the bottom wick which shows the lowest price of the day this is the real body of the candle this price over here can show the opening or closing price this bottom over here can show the opening or closing price if your candle is black or red it shows that the stock closed lower than the opening price if the body is white or green it shows that it closed higher than the opening price there are many types of candlesticks I'm just gonna go over a few of what I feel have been most influential for me or what I look for on a chart obviously there are types of dojis there's a long leg doji there's a short day doji gravestone doji and dragonfly doji there's a hammer, inverted hammer, hanging man, shooting star, and marabozu. And these are very uncommon, the marabozu. Types of doji candles. <coughs> Dojis are found at the top or the bottom of a trend. That's when you want to look for them as far as a reversal. If you see them in the middle of a, of a trend, it really has no effect at all. A long leg doji. This is where the price of price came up to a high over here came down to a low over here and ended up closing right at the middle a dragonfly doji is where the price came down to the bottom and ended up closing up to the top of the trend a gravestone doji is where the price came all the way up ended up closing all the way down to the bottom a short day or also known as a doji star is when the range of the day was very short price ended up closing somewhere in the middle a hammer now the hammer candlestick can be found at the bottom of a bottom of a trend to signal a reversal a hammer looks like this with a long wick and the price action closes at the top another example of a hammer even though the wick protruded over here a little bit it's still a hammer inverted hammer is obviously found 
at the bottom of a trend, also to signal a reversal. Inverted hammer, the wick protrudes a little bit, still an inverted hammer. A hanging man. Hanging man, or you look for these at the top of a chart to signal a trend change. Shooting star. Found at the top of a trend, also signaling a trend change. <coughs> Marabozus. These can be green or red marabozu. A marabozu is basically a solid candle without a wick or with a very little wick. Showing price opened over here and the buyers were all the way up to the top to the close of the candle. A red marabozu shows the price opens here and there were sellers all the way down to the close of that time frame candle. Candlestick formations. Now we went over candlesticks individually, so now we have to go over candlesticks formations uh, with a grouping of candles and see how they form a pattern to help you decide a trend or a trend change. Now there are different types of ch um, candlestick formations. I obviously picked a few of them that are most influential for me. A bullish engulfing, bearish engulfing, bullish harami, bearish harami, bullish kicker, bearish kicker, dark cloud cover, Pearson pattern, morning star, and evening star. Now these may seem like a lot of things to remember but once you really get into it these things will be second nature and you'll be able to call them out just like you you would know anything else um, so it may look like a lot right now and this is not even half of them <coughs> but you will be able to remember these at the tip of your tongue using candlesticks to initiate a trade important things to remember about candles Candles alone are not a reason to enter into a position, even if it's long or short position. A single candle does not mean that a trend will alter its current direction. No candle is 100% guaranteed to produce a positive result. Important things to remember about candlestick formations. Remember these important things to remember about candles, individual candlesticks, and these are important things to remember about candlestick formations, which is a grouping of candlesticks. Candlestick formations are not 100% guaranteed to produce a positive result. Candlestick formations may not hold in a strong bullish or strong bearish environment. Candlesticks formations should be used in association with other indicators. Indicators like moving averages or flags or trends. They should be used in accordance with other indicators. A couple pictures here of how um, candles can show, candlesticks can show reversals obviously not one candle not one single candle tells a, a a trend change but it can also help you to decide where to start maybe scaling in or looking for an entry into a position now this hammer over here obviously produced a very strong move to the upside on this chart this hammer over here at the bottom of a downtrend produces a move to the upside an inverted hammer at the bottom of a trend produces a nice move to the upside. Inverted hammer at the bottom of a trend produces a nice move to the upside. This is a bearish candlestick. It's a shooting star. Shooting stars are found at the top of a trend and signals reversal to the downside. Shooting star found at the top of a trend signals reversal to the downside a bearish candlestick this is a hanging man a hanging man is found at the top of a trend and signals 
move to the downside. Hanging man found at the top of a trend and signal a change in trend to the downside. A green marabozu candle. The green marabozu is all remember I told you they're they're not e um common, but they signal strength in the bulls, saying that there's gonna be a strong move to the upside. Another green marabozu here, no top or bottom wick <coughs> signal and strong strength to the upside. Red marabozu, no top or bottom wick, signal and strength to the downside. Red Marabozu. Signal and trend to the downside. Now these are bullish engulfing candlestick patterns. So the candlestick patterns is a group of candlesticks formed together to form a formation that will give you um, a, a good idea of where, which direction the chart wants to go. So here's a bullish engulfing pattern where the smaller red candle is totally engulfed by the bigger green candle producing an uptrend similar over here where the <coughs> the red candle is completely engulfed by the green candle and it produces a move to the upside a bearish engulfing candle pattern where an upside move is completely engulfed by a red sell-off candle and it produces a strong downside move similar over here at the top of a chart what is an engulfing pattern a bearish engulfing pattern produces move to the downside bullish harami candlestick patterns a bullish harami is where you would find at the bottom of a trend signaling a reversal to the upside the bullish harami is also known as a pregnant lady because it looks like a pregnant woman with this is the body and this would be the belly of the of the pregnant woman so it's at the bottom of the trend and then it produces a move to the upside a bearish harami is obviously the reversal where you have a, a trend to the upside and then you'd find that pregnant lady up at the top signal and trend to the downside another bearish harami here signal and move to the downside morning star candlestick patterns a morning star is found at the bottom it's basically a doji surrounded by two other dojis gapped up on either side and it signals a reversal to the upside morning star signals a reversal to the upside an evening star is exactly the opposite as a morning star where it, it peaks to the top and then gaps down signals a move to the downside another move to the downside Pearson candle patterns a Pearson pattern is where a, a price opens under and comes up more than halfway of the other of the previous candle producing an upside move opens under comes up more than halfway of the previous candle producing an upside move a dark cloud cover is the same as the exact opposite of a Pearson where it opens above and covers more than half of the previous candle producing a downside move where it opens above comes down more than halfway produces a downside move now that was just a basic layout of candles and candlestick patterns I'm definitely going to be going more into depth with how they're used and and I'll probably show a lot more examples of where you want to look for them but I hope that it was a little bit educational for you as far as understanding candles um, and obviously this is me this is my Twitter and this is the room that I'm a moderator at awesomecalls.com so please do check us out if you're not already a member and um, thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video